we're going to be talking in a lot more detail about session description protocol, which is one of the things that's really essential for uh, ST2110 systems to work. And I have uh, Siti Venku here from Embryonics who's going to take it away. Go ahead, Siti. Thank you. So one of the uh, questions that we always have is how do you uh, describe a stream coming from a sender and how the, uh, the, the receiver d digests that, right? There's one um, provision in 2110 that says we're going to use the session, session description protocol. It's really a simple, you know, um, a format describing the streaming media parameters. It doesn't really address you know, any content. It's really a description of what is transported in the streams. Not knowing about the, the format type, is it uh, audio, video, ancillary, uh, how the, uh, the IP is coming from and going through, okay? It's a, a, a simple text. Uh, it's type equals value. I, I don't think you can have anything simpler than that. So what is it in details? Uh, there are several uh, section in the SDP session description. There's their session level, which, no, uh, sorry, this is kind of the way. Uh, usually starts with V equals something, and then it ends at the next media level. Uh, it, you can have you know, multiple media level um, in a single session description protocol, okay? Um, what does the, let me backtrack a little bit, what does the session level contain? Usually it's the protocol version, the originator of the, uh, the session, you know, who's sending the, that uh, uh, SDP file, and if you want to have it, a, a session name, okay? And the media level, this is where, you no, know, I think the, it's most interesting for everyone that's doing 2110. Uh, it contains the, the media name and the transport address. Uh, you can have a title if you want, and also if you, you know, want to supersede uh, the, um, the session level, you can have a connection information. This is where the IP address is. And 2110 uses a lot of different uh, attributes. We'll dig in into details a little bit further into the presentation. But uh, 2110 uses, I think, four or five different uh, attributes. There's also um, the timing um, section. Uh, for most of my experience with the 2110 installation, the timing is always fixed. I mean, I mean, it's always zero because it's always permanent, and there's really no repetition uh, I've ever encountered in my 2110 installation. So the on portal line here are, like I said before, the O, which gives you the originator of the, of the session who's sending the media, right? So it could be you no, know, me sending to you, right? That would be my name, my IP address, so you would you know, be able to, to see that. And the media description tells us, you no, know, am I sending video, audio, metadata, whatever, right? And the age attribute, there's a you know, couple of different ones that 2110 uses. The RTP map, which tells you, you know, what type of RTP you're gonna be sending out, okay? And the format, this is where you know, the media is such, you know, gonna be describing. Are uh, you gonna be sending you know, YCBCR444, 10 bits? Is, is it gonna be SDR, HDR? Uh, what's the, you know, if you're sending video, you know, what's the height, what's the width, all right? And also the, the, the colorimetry, right? And, and 2110, there's also you know, a reference to the PTP. So that you know, TS reef clock here line will give you the, um, the master clock ID. So let's you now see a little detail here, right? So you now, as you can see, in maybe what, 10 lines, you can you know, be describing a single 2110 1080i you know, video, right? So like I said here before, you now you have the uh, the media level here starting. So we have a video, you know, RTP, port 20,000, okay? Uh, we're connecting, we're setting that to a 239 multicast. And if you wanna do like, you know, 
source specific um, uh, multicast, you always have a, an optional you know, source filter here. So you can say, I'm sending you know, to that multicast with that specific unicast IP address. Like, you know, like I said before, you know, RTP, we are the, the 20, uh, 96 um, RTP uh, <coughs> packet, and also the, the, the format here. So you know, YCBCR422, uh, and we are in 10 bits here. Simple SDR, and no, 1920, uh, 1920 by 1080, right? Also, no, we have a, a PTP master ID. No, it could be really, really simple as this, or no, using that simple structure, we can define something a little bit more complex. Let's say we want to transport, I don't know, four stream that compose a 4K video, right? And like I think Wes said before, you know, we want to do something a little bit more you know, complex. Well, you take that basic structure and just you know, duplicate it. Simple as that. So you, know, you won't be able to see much here, but you can recognize the pattern of the, uh, the SDP. So we have you know, a, a session level on the top, and we are you know, describing four streams here, right? So it's one, two, three, four blocks that are pretty much identical, right? So what we, what we, what we did add to just to describe a four stream? Simple. We just add an attribute that's going to be a group. So what I'm saying here is I'm going to have a group that's going to be you no know, multiple streams, and they're going to be two SI. And I'm going to have one, two, three, four groups. So I have my group one, two, three, four. Simple structure, it's copy and paste, right? And just to split the media, the different media, we are adding, you no, know, a mid uh, attribute. So I will have one, two, three, four different mids. Really, really, really basic stuff. No, I'm not gonna you know, show you a dash, 20, a dash seven SDP file because I don't have enough a big a monitor here. So the simple mechanics to connect a, you know, a sender to a receiver, there's a lot of protocol that can do that. ISO 4 does really a good job, ISO, ISO 4 and ISO 5, and I think Ember does that also. But the, you know, the, the demonstration, the example I'm going to give you, it's really you know, a simplistic thing. I'm gonna, not going to go into any protocols here, right? Let's say I want to you know, connect, I don't know, here, a camera and a audio sender to my little box here, right? What would I do? No, what my, would my system do here? Well, I'd boot up, no, everything in my system is empty, and I'm just gonna tell, no, um, this, this, I'm gonna tell my control system to fetch the SDP from my SAP and my camera, start into the system, okay? here, somewhere in your system, in your file, or whatever, and then up. And then let's say I want to you know, connect those two to this one. Just you know, copy it and paste it to that you know, device here. And that you know, once my receiver receives my two SDP file, my stream can go you know, from here to here, because my device will know what port to listen to, uh, what it's, get, it's, get, it's sending, uh, is it something I can accept or, or not, right? And that's it. We're all done. It's simple as that. You know, just you know, putting to one file to, to another. Um, what are the improvement that we could you know, work on here? Uh, now, if you don't have a you know, very complex control system and you just want to tie you know, two endpoints together, you know, you could have you know, established an SDP session between the two, the two devices. But what happens if, you know, let's say, the format change on the sender, right? I still I need to push the SDP again back to the, to the, to the receiver. Well, one, one thing we could do is just establish a 
a session announcement pr protocol here. It's just, you know, in parallel to the stream, I would be able to send the, uh, the, the SDP session with my, my stream. It's a companion stream to my media stream, right? So I don't need to you know, tell my receiver that my format has changed. So this is one of the improvements we could have. Or, you no, know, in the SDP, there's no um, provision for VLAN. Let, let's say I want to have the, that stream going to, in a specific VLAN. Well, that would, would be one of the you know, improvements we could have. The two simple improvements for, I don't want to say a big complex installation, but for simple stuff. So that would be it for me. Thank you. So I, one of the things that I've seen at some of the uh, interop uh, events is that people do uh, put an SDP file on a USB stick. Yeah. And just bring it over. Is that is that common practice in your uh, in your uh, Unfortunately, experience? yes, okay. it is common practice. Uh, people still treat it as a, a text file, right? Sure, it's, yeah, it's just simple text, right? Simple yeah. text, right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, ideally, you'd want it delivered properly from the transmitter to the receiver. Exactly. From, no, from a piece of equipment to the other, you, won't, you shouldn't no be bothering about a text file. It's a, the, the, the equipment should be uh, self-knowing how to, to fetch that thing. Uh -huh. And I think this is where you know, ISO 4, ISO 5 comes in and you know, make that transparent for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, City, thank you.